Welcome back to Ruby on Nails, and I know I promised you a moon cat review this week, but um, I got distracted by something prettier, so I guess step up your game, moon cat. Today I have Cirque Colors Cosmic Discotheque Collection, and no, I had no idea that that was how you spell discotheque, so I had to look it up and, um, well, I guess insert clip here. Disco, disco, disco cue. Oh, I want to say that. How to say disco the cue. Discotech. Oh, damn it. Now that you've seen that embarrassing moment where I had no idea what that word was, let's jump into this. From the moment that I saw this collection, it's been a while since I've been so excited to get something in the mail. I just, the pictures for this collection were so beautiful and I'm just gonna say it now, horribly accurate. I actually got a lot of messages from you guys asking me if I was going to review this collection and I can't deny you. More along the lines of I can't deny myself. So I do want to talk about some of my initial thoughts when I had first seen some of these polishes photos. I got flashbacks to another Cirque Colors collection, the California Dreaming Collection, Dreaming Collection from last year, which I reviewed here on this channel. Link right here. I really liked that collection, not only because I'm a Californian, but it also had a polish named Bitchin, which is, you know, really fun. Or rather, it's Bitchin, it's named Bitchin. But I do want to mention that the color story from the California Dreaming Collection is actually very similar to the color story here. Uh, insert photo. As you can see, there is pretty much a good color match in both collections. You know, we got some good blues, some good purples, some greens, some pinks, and of course, an orangey red, which I I really like this. I kind of like that their summer collections are a little bit on the predictable side when it comes to their color stories. However, they jazz them up in such a way that they're very different and very unique collections. In the, you know, Cosmic Discotech collection, we're getting some multi-chromes, we're getting some in your face shimmers and we're getting a dash of holographic glitter so while we got some of that in the california dreaming collection a lot of this is new and i would honestly say that the similarities pretty much end at the color stories also in this brand new collection we get a very fun topper and in this video i'm actually going to show you how it looks all by itself because oh my god it builds up easily enough to be worn by itself However, you can totally see some of the staining on my nails, but uh, that's more of a me issue than a you issue. Some more of my initial thoughts were, I thought this was actually very similar to what the Holo Taco Light Mode Collection was trying to accomplish. However, I think Cirque Colors kind of takes the cake on this, and that is my personal preference. But I'm definitely a throw everything into the kitchen sink and shove it into a nail polish bottle kind of person. With all of that said, I have never been so impressed by a polish in a bottle, but I really need you to see these polishes swatch because I need somebody to talk about it with. Nobody else in my life is as enthusiastic about polish as I am, which is why I'm here on the internet, so I can talk to you. So let's jump into it. Papoo. Papoo. What kind of transition sound is that? Bleh. Oh man, I am so excited to be showing you all of these gorgeous polishes. First we have Heart of Glass, which is a very fitting name for this collection. I absolutely adore this color. I want to say it's my favorite, but pretty much every single one of these polishes is a favorite of mine. We're getting that beautiful kind of deeper periwinkle blue with a darker blue with a beautiful lavender magenta shimmer running throughout. Now something I do want to touch on is that all of these formulas are very thin. So if that is something that is just not your vibe, uh, steer clear because most of these polishes 
are either two or three coders and we do have one that's borderlining a fourth but we'll get there when we get there let's just admire this beautiful polish i will say that this is definitely a multi-chrome in person and unfortunately i am just not a very skilled photographer so unfortunately you're not seeing that shift here but check out sir colors photos on their website they're very true to reality Next up, we have Night Fever, which is another multi-chrome. It is a dark blue to purple multi-chrome, and we are seeing some beautiful dark and green shimmer running throughout. And another thing about this collection is everything but the topper has a slight holographic glitter running throughout it. An unfortunate thing about this particular polish is that staining shows like a mofo with this color. I don't know what it is about it, maybe it's the fact that it has that magenta lean, but it kind of accentuates the orangeness underneath my nail, so I think this could possibly be a two coater. However, I applied three coats because uh, that staining was just driving me a little nutty. So do keep that in mind. If you're a big swatcher like me, you might need to do three coats on this one. But if you have pristine nails that only get painted every once in a while, this polish could be a two coater for you. So I just like to mention these things just in case that is something you wanna factor in while you are deciding on what to purchase. Cause you know, these aren't exactly cheap polishes, but Ah, oh, they're so worth it, in my opinion. You might have a different one, but Jesus, look at that shine. Look at that glitter. Ah, oh, the flare is just everything. Next up is the Velvet Rope for Heaven. This is a beautiful color, and I love it so much. I really adore this red-orange jelly base that we have going on with a yellow-gold shimmer running throughout. It gives it a very unique look, and in the sunlight, it almost does appear to be a multi-chrome, but in indoor lighting, it's definitely not. It is just that beautiful shimmer coming to life in the sunlight. It is absolutely a jaw dropper. I really like this shade, and I can't wait to wear it all summer long. I have some very fun nail art planned for this particular color. Just look at that glare. Oh, beautiful. Next up is a shade of green that is just not everybody's thing, but it's definitely my thing. It is an ugly, beautiful kind of situation. Groove Thing is a beautiful avocado booger green with a gold and bright orange shimmer running throughout it. I absolutely love the contrast that we are seeing all bottled up together. This is a two coater and it does have a beautiful jelly finish. I don't know if I've mentioned this in every individual polish, but most of these polishes you are just going to see the slightest bit of smile line due to that jelly formula. However, Cirque does a really good job with playing with that thin opacity and it is still always kind of opaque in the end, even though it's a jelly formula. I just, uh, they always do jellies just perfectly, and you can definitely see that in Groove Thing. It just embodies everything I adore in the shade of green. Okay, so let's move on to the one negative thing I have to say about this collection, and that is Seshik. I don't care for this shade. I think it's very pretty, but it's a three to four coater, and I'm going to show you it in three coats here in this video, but you can definitely see that it could even then use a fourth or even a fifth coat. I just... I just wish it was a little bit more opaque. I could see this being a really fun topper if that is how it was marketed. However, it was marketed as an independent color and on top of being hot mess Barbie pink, it's just not my thing and I wish I loved it, but there are just so many other pinks in Cirque Colors collection that I like so much more and uh, having to apply so many coats to get opacity is just 
rubs me the wrong way. However, if you're a Barbie pink lover, this could be your jam. However, I will say there is a different pink from the California Dreaming Collection that I think is better than this one, so maybe check that one out. Either way, you know, not every collection is going to be a banger after banger. Next up is Disco Ball, which is just perfect for this 70s themed collection. I really like this. Now, I don't have the best of luck with Flash Reactive polishes. However, I thought this one was very glittery all by itself and then even more glittery with the flash. And the thing that I adore about this particular one is that those glitters are so small and so thin that you get a really even surface. You don't get any lumps or bumps really once you get that top coat on. It is very smooth, so you aren't going to get any of those natural divots that can occur when you apply some flash reactive glitters. I think this one is really fun and I really like wearing it by itself in three coats. In person, it is much more opaque looking because you are seeing it in studio lighting right here. It does look a lot more patchy than in reality. And you know what? It's hard to translate things from the camera to real life, so you're gonna have to take my word for it guys, but it's stunning. If you have it, definitely try it this way. And of course, obligatory disco party, disco, disco party, party, disco party. Now that you have seen all of the poshes, what do you think? They're pretty awesome, yeah? I really like them. I know some people are definitely not a kitchen sink type of person, but for me and my fellow kitchen sinkers, uh, this, co this collection is pretty nice. Definitely let me know if you picked up any of these polishes. Did you grab the whole collection? Did you grab just one or two? Uh, did you skip this collection? Let me know why you skipped it because uh, in my head, that's impossible. And I promise that Mooncat review will be up either next Saturday, earlier or later. We'll see how my schedule goes. But it's definitely coming because I bought these polishes specifically to review and I have thoughts. Notebooks worth of thoughts. Actually, not notebooks. It's like, they're like two pages. See? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like this video. And if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! No, I don't want to see Cirque du Soleil. Fuck. <laughs>